Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Kimmy. This is my attic. Tomorrow is Halloween and I thought it would be kind of fun for us to do a Halloween tag and try ColourPop's new one appropriately. Not a box of chocolates. And I'm wearing cat ears. Stick around. I don't know why my cat ears are lopsided. Oh well. I guess you can't have everything. I'm also wearing my jack-o'-lantern shirt. I don't know if you can see. Um, it's actually a sweatshirt dress. So there you have it, guys. I am ready for Halloween. Are you guys ready for Halloween? It came fast this year. I feel like it came fast this year. I feel like the year is going good. As usual, I am excited to get to the end of it. I don't know, man. Every year, I feel like I'm just ready to end the year. <laughs> I am just, I'm always ready for like, you know, January 1st, 2000 whatever so anyway like i said it's gone fast tomorrow is halloween so i hope you have a very very happy halloween we are trying not a box of chocolates this is the new one from ColourPop. actually i think something has actually been released believe it or not since this palette but it's kind of new it's fairly new in ColourPop world maybe it's already gone but it's fairly new okay um let me read you something about it it is 16 chocolatey shades like soft caramels espresso hues in matte metallic matte sparkle and pearlescent glitter finishes this is what it looks like inside guys it's absolutely it's actually really 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 pretty um i know a lot of people are like oh another neutral palette but i love neutral palettes let me tell you i absolutely love neutral palettes um, and I think it's gorgeous inside. It actually looks like a box of chocolates. I don't know if you can tell. It has, like, indentations, like, here, here, here. Kind of like, um, when you get a box of chocolates, sometimes they have, like, those indentations on top. Like, kind of stripes. They have some hearts over here. I love detail. I love packaging. It doesn't smell like chocolate, but who cares? That's no big deal. Um, really, really cute, by the way. In case you were wondering... The most popular Halloween candy is Reese's Pieces Peanut Butter Cups. How do I know that? Because last year I posted a video on Halloween with like a, like a couple of like unknown facts, unknown stories, and that was one of them. I do see one matte glitter, by the way, in this palette. You know I'm not a big fan of that. And I also see a pressed glitter right here. But, um, you know, 16 shades, one in one. That's not bad. Everybody likes something different. There seems like there's a nice array in here of shades. And the only reason I bring that up is because I feel like they were maybe um, trying to dupe better than chocolate. Let me tell you, it's not. They, Too Faced didn't set the bar high with this one. This is one of my least favorite palettes that I have tried in a long time. In case you were wondering, compared side by side, this is what they look like. There you have it. So they're really not close at all. I think this one is absolutely, is, this one is really, really pretty. When you open it up, it is beautiful. So we're going to give that a try. We're going to play a Halloween tag. This is not the makeup tag that's going around. There's a makeup Halloween tag that is going around. This is just a regular Halloween tag I found on the internet. I have no idea where it started. It's all over the internet though. It's a 30 question Halloween tag. I will post down below where I got it from. I don't know if that's where it originated, but, and it's not exactly a tag, is it? Because I am not tagging anyone and no one tagged me. So it's just me answering a bunch of questions and trying a palette. So here we go, guys. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this shade right here. This is Amaret. Really, really pretty um, I would say this palette definitely ooh, is a little powdery, but that's okay. I would say it definitely leans a little bit warmer than cooler. Um, oh, nice pigment. Really, really nice pigment right off the bat. I like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Question number one. <laughs> yeah, 30 questions. Get comfortable. Favorite, I wonder why there's not 31. There's 31 days in October. I should shut up. My God, let's just move this along. Favorite horror or Halloween theme song? Easy. The theme from Halloween. That is my favorite Halloween song from a movie. That is creepy. If I had to pick two, I would pick the Exorcist theme, but they're kind of similar. I don't know, man. That ho Oh, yeah, there's a lot of fallout on this palette. <laughs> a ton of fallout. Okay, whatever. We'll get rid of it later. Actually, let me go ahead and brush it. 
All right, guys. So yeah, Halloween, the theme, theme song from Halloween, favorite Halloween song. Okay, number two. Name something you wouldn't want to run into a dark forest or in an abandoned building. Name something, something you wouldn't want to run into in a dark forest. What the hell does that mean? I wouldn't want to run into anything in a dark forest or an abandoned building. And let me tell you something. Mama, we said the monster, the biggest monsters on earth have two legs. Think about that one. So that would be my answer right there. Okay. Have you ever played with a Ouija board? Absolutely, I have. And when I was younger, me and my friends, oh my God, <laughs> me and my friend used to play all the time. I would say maybe around junior high. We were probably around junior high. And would I play with one now? Follow-up question, absolutely not. When we were younger, it was like fun. I didn't really, um, I'm not even sure. I, I don't want to say, I, I don't want to say, that I would not play with one now. That's, let's leave it at that. I have in the past, I wouldn't now. Number four, favorite horror monster or villain? Hmm. Um, that's a good question. I guess since Halloween is my favorite movie, I, favorite Halloween movie, I'd have to say Michael Myers. It's a little cliche, but it works. Okay. So now I'm going to go in with tiramisu, which is also one of my favorite desserts. And I'm just going <clears> to, <throat> I'm just going to kind of like put it in the crease. So I put amaret all over. I wonder if all the shades are as powdery as that one. Ooh, this is really nice. And the shade's a little bit less powdery. The shade is really pretty. And they're going on really, really nicely. And... My main complaint with Too Faced palette was that all the shades looked the same. <clears throat> all the shades looked exactly the same. My second complaint was the formula. So this formula is really, really nice, and the shades don't look exactly the same. There's a lot of fallout on this palette. That's the only thing I will tell you. There's a lot of fallout on this palette. Okay, so where were we? Number five, the creepiest thing that's ever happened while you were alone. The creepiest thing that's ever happened while I was alone. Um, guys, I'll tell you my ghost story. <laughs> I don't have an answer. I don't have an answer to the creepiest thing that's ever happened to me while I was alone. I'll probably think of one later. The only thing that I can think of now didn't actually happen to me. It happened to my mom. When my great-grandmother passed away, um, my mom thought she saw her going up the stairs because she, her bedroom was upstairs and my mom could have sworn that she saw her going up the stairs, but she thought that it was like her nerves and she just lost her grandmother. So she didn't say anything to anyone. And then like fast forward like 15, I don't know, let's say 15 years. She was sitting with my grandmother, her mother. And my grandmother said to my mom, the night grandma died, I thought her see, I thought I saw her going up the stairs. They both saw it. They both saw it and they both thought they were crazy. So neither one said anything to the other person. So that's like the creepiest thing I've ever heard. It didn't happen to me. I can't think of anything off the top of my head, but that's creepy. Okay, number six. If you were dared to spend the night in a haunted house, would you do it? No. Hell no. You could dare me all the hell. No. Even if you paid me, I wouldn't spend money in a haunted house. So I guess I do believe. I don't know. I don't like haunted houses on any level. I don't like ones that are said to be real. I don't like ones you know are fake. No, that was an easy one. Um, seven, are you superstitious? Yes. Number eight, do you ever see figures in your peripheral vision? Is this a Halloween question? We all see stuff in our peripheral vision. I wouldn't know if they're figures, but let's move on from that one. I don't like that question. That's, that's a stupid question. Um, all right, number nine. Which urban legend scares you the most? Ooh, urban legends. What are some urban legends? Um, okay, while I think about this one, I'm going to go with 90% Coco, Keiko. I can't read it because there's makeup smudging it. <laughs> I'm telling you, this palette, this palette is powdery. But this shade right here, actually, am I going to do that? Yeah, I'm going to do that. Let's go in with that one. That one looks really pretty. Okay, urban legend, I guess Bloody Mary. 
Bloody Mary would be my, um, Bloody Mary would be the one that scares me the most, I think. It's also the only one I can think of off the top of my head. Um, do you prefer gore or thrillers? Thrillers, hand down. Hand down, I prefer thrillers. I don't like gory movies. I don't, I just don't like them. Don't find them scary. Don't like them. Um, do you believe in multiple dimensions or worlds? Oh, absolutely. Without a doubt, I believe, <laughs> I believe in all, all that stuff. Um, yeah, I do. There's, we're not, we are, I'm not even sure exactly what the, if this question is asking this, but I'm a hundred, I, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I know we're not alone. There's no way we're alone. I don't know about other worlds or other dimensions or what it is, but we're not alone. This color is beautiful. And <laughs> while we're talking about other dimensions, I'm telling you, this color is beautiful. And all of these shadows are lovely. They blend together really, really nice. Palette is beautiful. I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with, um, how about O-Chip, this one right here, and just kind of blends everything together. Okay, so I think we're up to question 10. Um, oh no, 11, do you, oh, 12, we're up to 12. Have you ever made a potion of any sort? No, <laughs> I can't say I've done that. Number 13, do you get scared easily? I do, actually. I do kind of get scared easily. Um, especially with like haunted houses and stuff. Oh, I hate that stuff. I cannot do it. And I'm not even talking about any like big haunted house or like, you know, one of those things where you have to sign a waiver, which is absolutely insane. I did a whole video last October about McKamey Matter. Um, and I think, I don't know, I think I was trying Milani makeup or something, but all of that stuff scares the crap out of me. So um, I, am, I am scared easily. I am not shook easily, like in everyday life, but Halloween stuff, yeah, I am scared. Have you ever played, oh my God, have you ever played Bloody Mary? Absolutely not. I have not ever played Bloody Mary, but something a little interesting, I did read about it. You... Um, if you ever have played Bloody Mary and you didn't see something in the mirror, it could be the fact that you are so nervous, you're kind of hallucinating that something's there. I have read that um, that can happen and probably has happened to a lot of people who think that they saw something in the mirror. By the way, the urban legend is if you say Bloody Mary three times in front of the mirror, you will see her. I think that's the legend. Okay. Um, do you believe in demons or the devil? Yes. I don't know which I believe in, or both. I definitely believe in demons. Um, yeah, I think we do have that kind of stuff around us. I don't know if I believe in a devil per se, like good evil type of thing, but I do. I do think there's demons out there. I think. I think there are. I just do. Okay. Um, you are home alone, but you hear footsteps in your house. What do you do? If this ever happened and Maggie was around, oh my god, she would be crazy barking. So first thing I would have to do is calm her down. I'm not even kidding. If she hears footsteps coming to the house, like from two houses down, she's in the window going crazy. Um, other than that, hide and cry. I don't know. But what would you do? <laughs> what do you do? Um, if you got trapped in one scary movie, which would you choose? Oh my god, none of them. What? <laughs> What scary movie would I choose to get trapped in? Um, okay, I will get trapped in the new Friday the 13th because the guy in it is so good looking. You know when you're watching like the channel that shows all the movies and they're always showing like Friday the 13th or Nightmare on Elm Street and you're always hoping it's the old one but it's always the new one. The one good thing about the new one, guy is really cute. The, the guy, he's like the hero or whatever, he's gorgeous. So I guess I'll just go ahead and trap myself in there. I don't think that's the answer they were looking for. Or maybe, I don't know. Yeah, I think I would do that. Let's just go ahead with that. I don't know. I guess there's really no right or wrong answers to these things. Um, let's try sh some shimmers. How about we try, um, let's see. How about Vibe Chocolate? This really beautiful one. Oh, they feel really nice. They feel really nice. Okay. 
If you could wear one Halloween costume for the rest of your life, what it would be? I guess it would be my Harley Quinn. Because I've been Harley Quinn about three times. I've been Daddy's Little Troublemaker. I've been the Harley Quinn, the dancing Harley Quinn when they go to the club scene in the gold outfit. And I think I was her one other time, although I'm not, I don't quite remember what I did for that one. But yeah, I've been already been Harley Quinn about three times or four times. So I'll just say I'd be Harley Quinn. All right. Uh, would you ever go to a graveyard at night? Yes, absolutely. I don't really, I don't believe in like, um, ghosts, like, as I said, I'm like, I'm like easily scared, but I don't believe in like ghosts on that level, like, like, like Night of the Living Dead, where they come out of like the graves. I don't necessarily believe in that. And I don't, like I said, I don't really like, I, I don't believe in, in that kind of thing. I think, you know, that's like almost like, to me, that's almost like a peaceful place, if that makes sense. That's almost like a peaceful place. Yes, absolutely. I would go at night. Um, okay, let's try another shimmer here. We'll go ahead and do Still Bitter, which is this one over here. Ah, oh, these shimmers are really beautiful. Really beautiful. In a zombie apocalypse, what is your weapon of choice? Man, I don't know. Where's Adam when you need him? He's always into that zombie stuff. I don't know how you fight a zombie. I think you fight a vampire. You have to like cut off their head or something, right? Okay. Oh, yeah, you have to cut off a zombie's head. I learned that from Night of the Living Dead. I, you have to cut off their heads, I think. So I guess a machete. I don't know. Um, would you rather go to a Halloween party or go trick-or-treating? Of course I would rather go to a Halloween party. Um, if I want to buy candy, I buy it myself. <laughs> You're in a horror movie. Are you the final girl, the first to die, or the comic relief? Okay, so you guys remember my friend Adam? He, I had him on a few videos before in the past. We used to actually have this question, like, in our group of friends, like, who would be the first to die? Who would like make it to the end? And we decided that I would somehow make it to the end. I would be like the girl that makes it to the end. I am the Jamie Lee Curtis of the group. Okay. Um, after, do you want, do you have to watch something happy after watching a horror movie so you can go to sleep? No, I actually don't. Okay. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of Champagne Truffle, like in the inner corner, that's this one right here. Really, really beautiful. Really, really nice, okay. Um, are you the one, are you the one who gets scared or the one who does the scaring? I definitely don't do the scaring, so I guess I'm the one that gets scared. Guys, I do get scared at like thrillers, like when you're not sure like what's gonna happen. Um, Sometimes I like, I think I had my eyes closed. I don't know. Paranormal activity freaked me out, especially the end where she was just like waiting. And I think I had my eyes closed like half of the time. So I would have to say I am the one that gets scared. Um, are you the one? Oh, I just did that one. Favorite scary book. Ooh, favorite scary book would have to be Salem's Lot or It. I read both by Stephen King. Um, it. The book is so much better than the movie, guys. I know everybody says that, but I am telling you, the book is absolutely amazing. The movie was good too. The book was better, and Salem's Lot, ugh, that was also a really, really good scary book. Um, are you the blah, blah, blah? How, how old were you when you saw your first horror movie? Uh, young, young. I remember watching horror movies with my mom, probably around seven or eight. I don't think I was old enough to really know what was going on or like to be like scared. I don't remember what it was, but I do remember watching them. What was your first Halloween costume? My first Halloween costume, I think was a cat. How appropriate, if I remember right. What are you going to be for Halloween this year? You're looking at it. Um, I'm actually, <laughs> actually working on Halloween this year and um, I, I did dress up last year. I was Harley Quinn, and I think I dressed up the year before that as a devil, but this year I am not going to be really anything. We are doing a little thing at work, and I am going to be wearing these ears. So I guess, like I said, you guys are looking at it. And finally, if you could have a spooky Halloween pet, 
what would it be? Black cat, owl, bat, rat, or wolf? Actually, none of the above. Let me show you my Halloween pet. Guys, my Halloween pet is right here, okay? The Halloween queen, no other than, yes, my Maggie Ray! Maggie, say happy! <laughs> Maggie Mae, you are such a good sport. She absolutely hates this outfit, I know. I'm gonna take it off her. I'm just trying. <laughs> I just had to try it on once. Guys, thank you so, so much for joining me. Again, I will post the tag down below. I'm not 100%, okay, okay. <laughs> I am not 100% sure where it came from. If you want to answer any of the questions in the comments and leave them for me, I would love to know what your answers are and I would love to know what you are going to be for Halloween. I wish you a very, very happy Halloween. By the way, by the way, I think this palette is beautiful. It runs circles around the Too Faced one. It retails for $24 and if you're on the market, in the market for a neutral palette, like I said, I think it's lovely. So I wish you a very, very happy, safe Halloween, and until next time, guys, make sure you take good care of yourself so you can take care of someone else. And I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.